guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you my progress for the Tramp from the brand new update for Lady in the Tramp. So Tramp is the very first character that you unlock with this brand new permanent content storyline and I think it is just perfect for Valentine's Day. So. Before we get into that though, I want to remind you guys to check me out on Twitch. We are streaming almost every single day, so it is pretty exciting. I'm also streaming on my Instagram page and everything as well. I go live um, sometimes when I am doing the streaming on there until my computer setup is sort of finished. I know it is taking a while, but if you guys want to help me sort of build it, there is a donations link in the description below. So also just make sure to check out all the links that are down there will be able to see everything. <laughs> All right, so before we get into what, like showing you guys my progress for the trim, we do have some dialogue. <laughs> oh, BB-8, what are you saying? Whoa, you're uh, looking a little punchy there, buddy. Are, you, are your stabilization sub-programs glitching out or something? Well, I thought he was saying something entirely different. <laughs> uh, droid noises. I don't know if I'm ever going to get used to it. It's fun to do, but it's so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. I keep telling you that headbutting the weapon circuits move is the kind of thing you should only try once. They made it like BB-8 was saying that. That's why I was like, what? That doesn't quite make sense. It's supposed to be coming from Poe. Quest complete. Fly ball. He's adorable. I love him. So um, I also wanted to just remind you guys now that uh, I found out that it's only two characters now in the game that are making noise, at least that I've noticed. Uh, one of them is R2-D2. And the other one is BB-8. So I'm wondering why they got rid of all the Mickey and Friends and Toy Story and Merlin voice. I don't know. It's kind of weird. R2-D2 is now level 5. I think his voice is like a little bit different for the droid. I'll try and get it like a little bit closer. Maintenance me. Well, I'm sure that's a well-intentioned offer, R2, but I'm not entirely sure you're qualified to. This is R2-D2 we're talking about. Of course he is. <laughs> yes, R2, I do remember Kai Moon 1. And Bespin, yes, but those were special cases, and I'm certain one of my knee joints hasn't functioned properly since then. <laughs> I love these two. They are adorable. They are such a great team. I like besties. Droid besties. That's a thing, right? I, th I, th I think so. I think so. I wonder how much more dialogue we are going to get from them, though, and, like, with the other characters that were from the, like, the limited time event. What are you, R2? That was intended as a critique of your droid repair skills, not some kind of invitation. Oh, R2's just going to fix him. Oh, this is good. This is good. Don't screw up. I wonder why you didn't get like the red arm either. I that's where I kind of feel like they are gonna add characters from like you know like Luke Skywalker and stuff from like the very original sort of trilogy there. Um, I think I think there's really no other explanation for that. Otherwise, they totally would have. This won't hurt a bit. Send R2 and C3PO to conduct repairs. Well, good luck, guys. I hope it goes well. That's a great quest. Great animations on that one. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, well, I certainly hope you're pleased with yourself. If my limbs struts lock up a while I'm on critical resistance business, I will know exactly who to blame. Yes, I can sense that my joint is now operating at 3% over factory standard. It, well, it's the principle of the thing, R2. <laughs> See, I told you they were adorable. Quest complete. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Alright, well, that's enough droid noises for the next few minutes. <laughs> um... Oh my gosh, that was a lot of, that was, that was a lot to, to kind of begin with here. Okay, so there is still some other stuff to go before I give you the progress. Um, but the, as I was saying before, like the whole noises with the characters and stuff like that, I'm not sure if it's an intentional thing or it's like, it's a glitch. Um, I haven't noticed that DMK's put out anything about it, um, but there are a lot of us that don't actually have the noises in the kingdom anymore. And that was something I know, like a fair few of us were discussing like them adding actually more voice impressions to characters in the kingdom um, especially with the permanent content storyline right like I think it's pretty important to have those but then they added BB-8 with some impressions and that really got our hopes up so that's why I was kind of like mm, like I'm not totally sure like what their plan is now because if you're only having two droids making noise right like I don't know like I don't know if it's it's just because they don't actually say like English words but I mean I don't think that would change anything it's a voice impression it still sounds like I mean they must have the rights to those sounds like and if they don't then I think they should tell the community that they don't anymore and you know let us know sort of what's going on the ringmaster is now level eight what an idea this is! Um, but yeah, like, they had the live stream, like, just before the update and everything, and I felt like that was their chance to let us know certain changes like that. Um, yes, they may be small, but, like, it's not like, oh, we're adding new land, or, oh, we're not, like, we're adding new characters and stuff like that. Like, that's loads. It's those little things that those of us who have been playing, you know, more than a year or even six months have noticed that there are those sort of sound effects in the game, and we really like them. The bride is now level nine. In sickness and in well. I feel like she needs more dialogue. I feel like they've really stinged on hers. Um, mostly just because, like, I feel like when you have a character like this one, who's a little bit different, and we don't know, like, everything about, like, I mean, we know her and her story, but, I mean, there's no, like, you know, Toy Story movies to, like, watch and rewatch. Like, her character, in terms of, like, the actual haunted mansions, um, is a little bit more of a mystery and stuff like that to us. Now, I know there is that movie with like Eddie Murphy and everything like that. So there is a movie for the Haunted Mansion, but again, a, a little bit different style of character in that. So anyways, I just wish they had like a little bit more dialogue incorporated. Maybe they will in the future, um, but I mean, she only has one more level for me until she's maxed out. So it would have to be dialogue with, you know, some other ghosts and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know how far they're planning to take this. They've added it for some reason to the kingdom. Uh, so it's just a matter of time, I guess, before we find out sort of what's going on uh, with that. Now she doesn't seem to affect the storyline at all. Um, it doesn't really matter how far along you are in, um, like in your permanent content. So I feel like that's one really cool thing about her. But I know she was super hard to get for a lot of people. And those sapphire chests that were like a hundred gems. That was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, I know I got lucky and only had to spend uh, 100 and I had two free ones that were given to me. So like that, you know, I think that really helped, but I know like a lot of you guys like, did spend a lot on her and it was, like I felt really bad. I was like, oh no. Like that's like, that. I don't like to hear stuff like that from you guys. Like I feel bad, like they shouldn't be kind of, you know, doing that. It's like if you spend over 300 gems, just give them a bloody character, you know? Kylo Ren is now level three. No quarter, no prisoners. Okay, maybe like 400 gems max, because I know some characters are like 
400 or whatever. Um, I think this most recent one though was more, like what was it, five? That was trusty. But um, yeah, like, you know, once you've done that, I mean, you've already spent a lot of money there. I think it should just like, in their their whole system, it should just give it, right? Like after you've opened that many, you have a chance to get it earlier than that, of course. But I mean, like they, they should guarantee that you get it on that fifth try. They don't have to tell us that, but it should just be something in their system that that's sort of just what happens. Um, yeah, but uh, I don't like to hear that people spend like hundreds of dollars trying to get that character. It's just crazy. Like I, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So yeah, I, I, I'm kind of scared what's going to happen in the future with the, the rest of those Haunted Mansion characters. If they do appear back in those Sapphire chests, like what does that mean? Like, are we going to have to go through the same thing again? I hope not. <laughs> All right, guys, um, now we'll get to the part of the video where we will be um, showing the tramp's progress. I, oh, I do have the dialogue, though, from Trusty first. Okay, sorry, one more second. Uh, upon further reflection, I'm gonna have to revise what working theory of mine primarily on account of the culprit B and me. Oh my gosh, I guess his sense of smell is really having trouble. Knew I should have got into an argument with that skunk by the side of the road this morning. Quest complete, which way did he go? <laughs> On the other paw, I ain't had that much fun chasing my own tail in years. Awesome. I feel bad though. He sounds smells like a skunk. Ew. Ew. Hey. <laughs> That's kind of gross. He needs a bath. We need like a puppy spa now. Or pet spa, whatever. I like puppy spa better. But um, yeah. Um, for those of you that have unlocked Tramp though, I want to hear how your progress is in your own kingdom. So let me know like how far along like in terms of collecting him and stuff like that and what the drops have been like for you and everything. Um, yeah, let me know sort of what's up with that. And if you haven't unlocked him, well, hopefully you're getting close. Because he'll be a great character to kind of be working on for Valentine's Day for sure. Okay, so I think I've seen pretty much all the drops that I am going to be getting here. So um, really that pretty much just leaves like sending those characters back out. Now I, I do know that the quest here, um, like they are six hours like Mowgli for the bone. I know it's not collecting anymore, but I'm still sending them out on those quests in case like I get enough, then I can start the leveling up process and we'll be fine. We'll be totally fine. We'll be good to go there. And, uh, you know, those bones will be able to drop once again. Okay, so um, let's take a look here at Tramp. Um, Tramp, so far, guys, has six of his ears hats. Now, this is the one character token that I am having a little bit of trouble with. It's just not dropping the same way. And I'm kind of a little disappointed that uh, it's not dropping. A little better uh, especially because I have had my happiness either in ecstatic or high joyous um, I had locked it in at ecstatic the first few days and I wasn't getting that much results so then I kind of decided to just not lock it in and not waste my elixirs and uh, yeah so I seem to have better luck with that now so I've got tw over 20 of the spaghetti I've got all the bones um, so again, it is, I've got the magic. I've literally, I'm just waiting for those ears hats. So fingers crossed, guys, that I do get them. Now, I can get them in bronze chests as well, but I mean, there are a load of char there are character tokens that I can actually get in these bronze chests. So the chances of that, guys, are pretty slim, at least at this point. Um, but you never know. You never know in the future if I will be getting some of those character tokens. The more I max out the other permanent content storyline, um, probably the sooner I'll be able to just automatically get those tokens 
from the bronze chest. So incentives, right? Incentives. All right, I think that is gonna be everything for today, guys. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give this video the big Mickey thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And of course, hit that bell for post notifications so you know when I go live in the future or post a video. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video. Bye.